Today I'm going to rant. I'm going to rant about web developers and what can go horribly wrong when you have the wrong one. So let's talk a little bit about how to protect yourself online. We have talked in prior videos about our website executive login sheet, which has all the logins for your online presence, your social media, your website, everything. Let me tell you a story actually it happened to a relative of mine and um, they had hired a family member, which is a distant family member, but a family member to manage all their website and social media. Well, when they fell out, one party thought they owed money and one party thought they didn't. So what happened was the web developer who they had hired, who was sort of family, went in, shut the host down, so they had the login, so they went in and shut the website off, and they also went into GoDaddy and took the domain name. They literally took the name off the company and put it in their own name. Now I've spent the last five weeks trying to get enough information and documents to prove that they actually took it, and we still don't have it back. And the sign company that this happened to um, their, their business is down by a third. So it's a really big problem for them and they never saw it coming. And especially I think there's a false sense of security with family members. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still business. So you got to remember that who you hire, you need to be able to hire and fire someone in the same breath. So be very, very careful about who you work with. Family is always riddled with problems. I think you have to have a clean relationship, not bring anybody in your family into the fold unless you are absolutely crystal clear on what their role is, how they get paid, and there is a whole other level of assumptions around family versus a regular employee. So now this company is really struggling because they've lost their entire identity. So when you Google their name in Google, the only thing that shows up is a legacy site and you click on it and it goes nowhere. It's just a dead site. And we are having no luck getting this family member to give it back. So now attorneys are involved. So let's talk about a few ways to protect yourself in these situations. The best way to do this is we, I use a tool called LastPass, L-A-S-T-P-A-S-S, LastPass.com. Now what LastPass does is it's a, it's a cloud uh, password tool. So you always know that when you open up on your phone, you can pull up your bank accounts, you can pull up all the stuff in a secured environment through the LastPass app. Now on a desktop, you can go in and set up a username and password. You then invite that person to the password account on LastPass. If you fall out with that person, you can instantly shut it off and they can't get back in again. No matter whether they had the old logins or not, you can go in and do a global change. Everything will change. They will have no way of getting in. Now this may have not been preventable in their case because I think it took a while for them to become disgruntled. Another way to protect yourself is Google Drive or Google Suite. So Google Suite has uh, storage, they've got uh, email, they've got website hosting, they've got all of it. The Google Suite is great. I used to have an agency, we had 16 employees, and you know what, P employees come and go. It's just part of the business. But unfortunately, when people leave, it's not always under the best circumstances. So what we would do is we would have everything set up under the Google Suite, and if someone did end up being walked out that day, all we had to do is go in and change all the passwords, it globally locked everything out so that when they left, they weren't able to send a bunch of emails off to all the customers or download a bunch of documentation that wasn't theirs and use it at the next company. Long story short, protect yourself, don't work with family, and make sure you have some kind of software like LastPass or there's a bunch of other encryption softwares so that you can protect, share your passwords to these vendors, but pull it back when things aren't quite going right. But at the end of the day, you've got to hold the kingdom. You've got to hold the keys to your kingdom. You've got to know your logins. You've got to know your social logins. You have to know where everything's at. Because when that person rolls out the door, you're, it's going to go right back on your desk and take you away from what's the most important, which is working on your business. So take a few notes. Think about what your current strategy is. Download my executive checklist. I put it in the link below. It's an executive login sheet. And what it does is it makes you hunt down all the different ways in which people might need your help. So there's three different groups of content I want you to think about. 
The first one is just my standard website logins. The logins for my website, the logins for my domain, and the logins for my host, okay? So those three things you need to know what the logins are. That's number one. Number two is all my social media assets. So you have reserved every single social site. So Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook business page, Pinterest, Reddit, and anything else that you think you might use at some point. Now, if your competitors are all using those same social sites, then you need to use those social sites. And we're gonna, and we've talked, obviously you can look at all the videos in my channel. There's a ton on how to create great content for social media. But the next suite of keywords is the ones that are specifically towards your online ranking. So you may have something like an SEM rush or some kind of keyword ranking tool. You want the logins for that. Your Google Webmaster Tools, your Google Analytics, and your Google Alerts have to all be under the same Gmail account. Let me say that again. Webmaster Tools, Google Alerts, and your Google Analytics. Very important that all of those be under one centralized Gmail account so that Google can take a digital presence and match it with a human being. And those have different logins as well. So you've got logins for your site, logins for your social, and logins just for your administrative credibility with Google. In the login sheet, like I said, there's a link down in the description below. Print it out, sit down with your team, find them all. You have no idea the crazy looks I've received when I say, where are your social media logins? And they all start looking at each other like, do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? Like, it's crazy. So as an owner of the business, I don't expect you to be posting and tweeting, but I do expect that you would take responsibility for having your logins, making sure that you are working with vendors who, if it doesn't go right, you can lock them out like that and everyone doesn't lose a beat in their day, as opposed to calling attorneys because that vendor, that disgruntled vendor came back and took everything away from you. It's heartbreaking. I see it all the time. So take care of yourself, protect yourself, know where your logins are at all times and be in the power position, not the vendor. Well, now you've heard that sad story. I hope that you'll take preemptive measures to make sure this never happens to you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get notified every day of new ways to not only protect yourself online, but to become the most findable brand online.